हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज बर्मुडा शटर्ड इट्स स्कूल Businesses and government agencies as tropical storm Alex brushed past the British overseas territory on Monday after killing three people in Cuba and deluging parts of the Florida. The first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season had grown to near hurricane force late Sunday, reaching 70 miles per hour but weakened on Monday as it raced past north of Bermuda. In Florida, it flooded streets and left drivers stranded in some cities over the weekend. While in Cuba, it killed three people, damaged dozens of the homes and knocked out electricity in some areas, authorities reported. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said Alex maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour and further weakened was expected by Tuesday. It was sent at about 220 miles northeast of Bermuda by Monday afternoon and was moving to the east northeast at a brisk 29 miles per hour. Forecasters said it could drop 1 to 2 inches of the rain and generate waves of up to 20 feet. More than 800 customers already were without power and at least three American Airlines flights were cancelled, authorities said. It was centered about 130 miles north-northeast of Bermuda and moved to the east-northeast at the brisk 29 miles per hour. Bermuda's National Security Minister said emergency services were monitoring the storm. Local media reported no major damage as the storm only brushed the island. Streets were left impassable in Miami, while cars were stranded in high waters as a tropical rainstorm doused the city with more than 11 inches of rain on Saturday, according to the National Weather Service. Forecasters said Alex began to lose tropical characteristics throughout Monday afternoon when maximum sustained winds slowed to 60 miles per hour. It was downgraded to a post-tropical cyclone early Monday evening. Bermuda's tropical storm warning expired Monday afternoon, but not before it knocked down trees. AccuWeather's experts said dangerous surf and strong frequent rip currents were possible from around Palm Beach in South Florida to Virginia's Tidewater region as Alex headed northeast, but the rough surf continued on a downward trend on Monday. The National Weather Service issued a small craft advisories from the Delaware, Maryland border to South Carolina because of the rough surf, according to the AccuWeather senior meteorologist. Alex partially developed from the remnants of the Hurricane Agatha, which made landfall last week on Mexico's southern Pacific coast. Agatha killed at least nine people. Yellow flags were out on Monday, June 6, 2022, warning visitors on the North Carolina beaches to watch out for the possible rip currents because of the storm that was first named storm of the hurricane season. That's all for the now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.